guys, it's Lydia here, and for today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a leg stretching routine. We're going to start from our feet and just work all the way up our legs, stretching out pretty much every muscle in our legs. Um, this is just really great if you've done a leg workout, legs are a little bit tight, or if you just want to get more flexible, you're going to love this leg workout. So we're just going to start off, you can grab onto something, and we're just going to start out with some ankle circles, just kind of to warm up your whole ankle get it moving and just breathe all right now go the other way so I'm gonna be stretching our calves and shins as well in this so I want to just make sure to get all of your leg alrighty so now I want you to roll over your toe and push your heel forward and you're gonna feel a stretch on the top of your foot um, maybe a little bit into your shin I'm going to hold this here for a little bit longer. I just want you to really feel that stretch. And if you're kind of just sitting here, just bending your toes doing this, you're not going to feel it. I want you pushing your heel forward and you're going to feel that stretch on the top of your foot. Just breathe. Alrighty, now go onto your toes, but still push your heel forward and you're going to feel a stretch in the arch of your foot. This is one especially if you've been running or jumping a lot. Um, a lot of times my like the arch of my foot can get a bit sore. Really, really nice one to do for that. Okay, so now we're gonna stretch out our calves. And what I want you to do is just take a staggered position. Um, so you can start a little bit closer and slowly work your way back, but I want to make sure that all of your foot can stay on the ground. And first of all, we're just gonna hold it straight. Just have your foot straight in line with the other one. Both your feet are facing forward, just holding it here. And if you want to deepen the stretch, you can bend that back knee. Feel even more of a stretch in your calf. This is one of my favorite stretches to do after a run, after a frisbee game, because my calves have been really, really tight. So this is a really good stretch to just loosen all those muscles up. Alrighty, so now I want you to point your toe just a little bit inward, kind of this direction. So your toe might have been facing forward, now it's facing a bit in. And you're going to feel a stretch more on the inside of your calf. Yeah. A little bit of a balance <laughs> if you need to, you can grab onto something. Just breathe. Alrighty, and now point your toe outward and feel a stretch kind of in the outside of your calf. You can step out a bit farther if you need to for this. Or if you just want to hold one of the stretches for a little bit longer, if you feel like you can use that, it's totally fine to hold it. If you feel like the one where your toe is pointing out isn't doing as much, you can stay in one of the other positions a little bit longer, whatever you want to do. Alrighty, and now we're just going to repeat all that on the other foot, starting with the ankle circles. It's very important to just kind of like get the kind of mobility and kind of the movement in your foot before kind of diving in and stretching it. All right now, I'll go the other direction. Nice big circle, drawing a circle with your toe. Alrighty, now go over your toe, feel a stretch in your calf. And this isn't gonna get like super high on your calf, but like kind of at the bottom, right around here. So your top of your foot, your ankle, a little bit into your calf. It's gonna get there, it feels so good. Hold it, you can always kind of pulse and let up. Alrighty, now let's do the arch stretch. So on your toes, pushing your heel forward, feeling that stretch in the arch of your foot. It's just these tiny little positions that you can put your feet in. And this is something that I do throughout the day, just randomly, if I feel tight, if I feel like my feet, my calves are tight. Quickly do these stretches. They're so easy to do anywhere you're at, when you're cooking, when you're at the store, whatever. Quickly do it and it just can kind of loosen up your body. Alrighty, so now we're going to do the calf stretches, starting with just having your legs staggered, 
your to both of your toes are pointing towards one wall. And again, you can bend your knee for deeper stretch, but make sure that your heel is staying on the ground. So the whole of your foot is flat on the ground. And again, this is one. It's super easy. All you have to do is just spread your legs out, and you could do this anywhere. At any time you feel a little bit tight, really, really good stretch. Alrighty, and now point your toe inward. This one is a deeper stretch, so you might have to bring your legs a bit closer together. It's totally fine. Still, your whole foot is on the ground, but your toes just pointed more towards this side. Alrighty, and now point your toe a little bit outwards. And this one is a little less of a deep stretch, so you can step your foot out a bit wider. And again, bending your knee is a great way. If you don't really feel a stretch, you can bend it, and you're going to get a deeper stretch in that calf. It's such a simple position, but it feels so nice. Alrighty, so now for the rest of the stretching routine, we're going to go into more deeper stretches, holding them for longer, and we're going to start with a downward dog. So in this, push your heels to the ground, and you can even kind of bring so that you're, so if you're sitting like this and your chest is being pushed through your legs, you might not feel as much of a stretch in your calves, more in your hamstrings. So if you want to stretch out your calves more, bring your chest through almost like this, and you're going to feel it stretch more in your calves. You can also pedal out your feet here, walk a little bit out. The farther your hands are away from your legs, the deeper stretch is going to be for your calves. Just feel that stretch. Like I said, we are going to hold these for a little bit longer. Feel a nice deep stretch in your calves. Alrighty, so now bring one leg through, straightening both legs, and feeling that stretch in your front leg, your front hamstring. So you're going to feel a stretch all along the back of your leg, so moving a little bit up your leg, now focusing more on your hamstring, and just lean over your leg. This might be a bit difficult if you're a beginner, so if you're a beginner you can have two maybe yoga blocks, or just something to support you so you're a little bit higher. Um, or if you can reach the ground, that's great, and just try to lower your chest to your leg. So make sure that your back is staying nice and flat, bringing your chest closer to your leg. Okay? So lead with your chest, not with your head. I'm making such a big emphasis because that's something that took me a long time to figure out, that you're not trying to touch your nose to your knee. You're trying to bring your chest to closer to your thigh, and you're going to get a lot deeper stretch in your hamstring from that. Alrighty, so gently come out of that, and then we're going to go into a pigeon. Now for this, you can have your knee a bit closer to you if that's what you need to do, or you can scooch it a bit farther back, but you're going to feel a stretch in this front leg, the bent leg. This leg can be, um, this foot can be a little bit closer to you, or you can scooch it out, make it a bit farther away, but we're first just going to hold it here, um, and just kind of get the feel for the stretch for about 30 seconds. Nice deep stretch in your glutes. This is particularly great after a leg day. Alrighty, now pull in your back leg and if you can grab onto it and feel a stretch in the front of your thigh or your quad. Really good one if you've done squats, lunges, any kind of thing like that. Your thighs can get a bit tight. deep breaths. This one we're going to be holding for a little bit longer. We just really want to get deep into this stretch. You know, for me, quads are the thing. If they're sore, it's the, like the most pain 
they're just the most painful thing whenever I work them out and they get so sore for me so it's really important to stretch them out they're such a big muscle group so it's really important to give them lots of time to stretch out gentle pull pull a little bit farther if you can alrighty so now if you can I want you to reach forward in this pose. Now if up here is feeling good, you're slowly kind of getting the hang of it, you feel good, stay there. But if you want to make the stretch deeper, reach forward here, bring your chest closer to your leg, and bring your head to the ground if you want. You're going to feel just a really, really deep stretch. Remember, nice deep breaths and stretches like this when it can feel a bit uncomfortable. You really need to make sure to take deep breaths and relax your body. And don't feel like you have to push yourself because if you're up here and you're feeling a good stretch, totally stay there. If you want to be on your elbows, that's fine. Or you can be all the way on the ground, whatever you're feeling, but you don't feel like you have to push yourself super far. Okay, gently come out of that. And now we're just going to go into a lunge. So push this hip forward and you're going to feel a stretch right here in your hip flexor. One of those muscles that really gets tight when we run. So it's a really good one to stretch out. Again, I'm going to hold this for a minute. There's a lot of ways you can do this stretch. You can have one hand on the ground. You can have both hands on your knee. You can lift your hands up. You can even reach over away from that leg, this side. So you can stretch kind of the whole side of your body. Whatever you're feeling, just want you to stretch out your hip flexor. But if you need to maybe keep a hand on the ground or whatever, that's totally fine. Or you want to deepen the stretch, lift up. Again, that's totally fine. It just depends on what feels right to you. Like for me, keeping my hands on my knees is feels right, feels good, but just kind of, you have to figure out what works for you. Alrighty, so now push forward and feel a stretch in your hamstrings, oh, the hamstring of the front leg. And again, just like the other stretch, you wanna make sure to keep a flat back. So you're not leading with your head, your, your back is nice and flat, you're leading with your chest to your leg. after a leg day, after doing some deadlifts or whatever. All right, slowly come out of that, and then we're gonna do another quad stretch. So if you can, grab onto that back foot. This one's a bit deeper than the pigeon pose, so you don't have to feel like you have to go super far. If your leg is just up like this and you're feeling a stretch, you don't have to grab onto it. Or you can grab onto your feet, foot, and slowly kind of relax and push your hips even more forward. Really feeling the stretch. And don't feel like you have to pull your foot in super close. It just takes time and patience. And if you feel like you need a better stretch, just gently pull your foot in a little bit closer. all those stretches starting with that straight leg lunge so come on up both legs are straight starting with the opposite leg now in front nice stretch for your hamstrings
thing you want to make sure not to do is not to be pushing this way like this. You want to make sure that both hips are square. So you're pushing back with this hip, not letting your legs do this, okay? So you're straight, your hips are nice and square. This hip is being pushed back. So that way your hips are nice and square and you're not letting your body go like this. So that can be easy to do. Alrighty, slowly bend your leg. Come into that pigeon pose. And first, again, we're just gonna hold it, kind of feel, get the feel for it. And remember, you can always bring your knee a little bit closer if that's where you need to be. Hold it here. And you can bring this foot a little bit farther away from you to feel a deeper stretch or bring it closer to you to feel a uh, not like a little bit of a gentler stretch. Alrighty, now bring in that back leg, pull it in, and make sure that your hips are staying square here so you're not falling to this hip as you're pulling this leg in. You're nice and square still, equal weight in both legs, and you're just pulling in the back leg, okay? Everything is nice. So you don't wanna sit on this hip and pull this knee in, okay? If that makes sense, because I know it was when I first was doing the stretch, I just always landed on this hip. But you want to stay on both legs, making sure that you're nice, evenly distributed on both legs, and then you'll feel a very deep stretch in your quad and hip flexor. Alrighty, and now just reach forward, or if you feel like reaching forward, you're not quite ready for that, it's totally fine. Just stay up where you are, feel that stretch. Deep breaths, relax your muscles. This is just one of the most relaxing stretches. You can just kind of fall asleep right here as you're stretching. <laughs> okay, come on up. Now let's quickly go into the lunge. Not quickly, you can slowly go into the lunge. Take it at your own pace. Push forward, remember you can always have a hand on the ground, hands reached up, you can reach to the side. Reaching to the side feels really good because it opens up not only your hip, but the whole side of your body. So if you would like to do that, go for it. It's wherever you feel the best stretch. One thing I don't want to see is you going like this. It's not really where you want to be. You want to make sure that you're Knees in line with your ankle. The weight is distributed between both legs. Alrighty, now gently push back to the hamstring stretch making sure to keep that nice flat spine, chest to your leg. Every time you exhale, get a little deeper into the stretch and take your time. Don't feel like you have to go right away. Also, you can flex your foot and get a deeper stretch in your calf and hamstring. If you like that, if you're ready for that stretch, go for it.
Inhale, push forward, pull back on your back leg. Nice deep stretch in that quad. Take your time. You don't have to pull your foot in super fast. I just want you to take this stretch and whenever you're done with a leg workout, you can pull this out because it's only about 20 minutes long. This is the perfect stretch to just kind of loosen up all those muscles that get tight after a leg workout, your hamstrings, glutes, quads, all those big muscle groups that get really, really tight um, after all like the squats, deadlifts, lunges, really nice to stretch them out. Alrighty, the final stretches, we're gonna come to our back, we only have a few more left. And the first one is just gonna be a figure four, stretching out your glutes a bit more. So cross one leg over the other and pull them both, both towards you. And you can start right here and slowly bring your leg a little bit closer and as close as you need it to be, feel that stretch. Feeling a nice deep stretch in this glute. This is just, it's one of the best stretches to do after you do some glute bridges, donkey kicks, your glutes are on fire and you just pull this one out and it's like, oh, okay, I might survive this after all. switch your legs. So you can start by just kind of holding it a bit farther away and then slowly as you get deeper into the stretch pull it closer and I just want you to go till you feel a stretch. So if you pull a bit closer and you're like okay that's good just stay there. You don't have to pull and pull and pull until you can't go any farther. That's not the point. The point is to okay I can hold it here I'm feeling a stretch then just stay there. gently release your leg and that is it for today's stretch guys I hope you enjoyed it this was just the perfect thing I needed I did a leg day today definitely challenging but you know sometimes you just got to pull out a good stretch like this and it's just the perfect thing after a good leg day so keep this for any leg day or any rest day that you want to stretch out your legs this is the perfect stretch it's only 20 like 15 20 minutes long so it's really great to just pull out and do and loosen up all those big muscle groups, your quads, hamstrings, glutes, but also your small arm muscle groups like your calves, shins, feet. All of those muscle groups are very important, so I'm really just wanting to get everything in here. I hope you enjoyed this stretch. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and you did it. And tell me in the comments below what videos you'd like me to do next. And I will see you tomorrow for an awesome abs workout. Bye guys.